Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another vlog. Not sure whether this is part two or part three. It's day three, I can tell you that. But I don't know whether I put it into two parts or, or three parts. Um, I, get, I edited the first part of the video last night and um, went all right. And then I, then I was tired, so I went to bed then. So unfortunately I didn't vlog any of yesterday's work. I only vlog, I only, I didn't edit any of day two's work. I only edited day's one work. Yeah, can't get my words out. So today's day three, it's Wednesday. So I've been out non-stop. Two nights in the cab, three days working. Have not gone home. More importantly, I have not showered. I am absolutely dying to have a shower when I get home. I've got wet wipes, don't get me wrong. I've had like washes with wet wipes. But like fresh water from, from a shower head has not touched my skin. The rain is really good. It feels nice when it hits you after three days. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, that's, um, that's something you uh, forget about, you know, you, you, when, you, when you're tramping, you haven't got fresh water at hand. Unless you go to a service station and use a shower, you, um, no fresh water. I am indicating right, mate. Yeah, let me through, thank you. When you, in, when you come up a roundabout, you indicate right, and the cars just think, oh, he's slow, I'll overtake. We are going to Portsmouth right now. Right, so what have we done this morning? Um, because it's actually half past 11 and I've only just started vlogging. Um, last night we preloaded to go to Newbury. So um, we've done that. We, it was actually quite difficult last night because we went to Winchester and then I thought I was going to park up for the night in Winchester to come back to Southampton this morning to get loaded to do my first run. But I called them up at something like 20 past five and said, I'm not going to be there until gone six. So I think it's too late to get loaded in it. And they said, no, come back and we'll load you. So I went back, got loaded at Southampton. Uh, by the time I got loaded and I parked up around the corner and underneath that bridge again, it was like nearly seven o'clock in the evening. So um, yeah, I parked up under there and then this morning, I uh, went to Newbury, which was a bit of a pain because I was supposed to go to Newbury for my last run today so that I can go home, you know, to Swindon from there. So um, I've done that Newbury run this morning, phoned the boss up, and um, he basically said, We'll try and get you home, but you might not be home tonight. So I was like, All right, I was hoping I'll be home on Wednesday, but, but you know, see what you can do. If not, then, if, then no, you know, fair, fair enough. But I'm going to Portsmouth now. This is my second run, because obviously I've done the Newbury run this morning. So I'm going to Portsmouth now, to the same place I went yesterday, Silco, it's like a yellow building, um, yellow bags on the back. Um, and then go back to Southampton again to load up to go to Reading. Um, this could, I don't know where in Reading I'm going yet, you never know, it could be the same place I went to Monday, at M's place. But um, when I've tipped in Reading, then I go, and go home, done for the day. So, get to sleep in my own bed hopefully tonight. The only downside is to it that um, at four o'clock in the morning I've got to be back in work to be in Southampton for six. So it will be another early start tomorrow. But at least I get to go home and see my kids. I haven't seen them since Monday morning. And even then it was four o'clock in the morning on Monday. So I ain't really seen them since Sunday evening and it's Wednesday today. It's the first time I've ever been away from them for so long. So I'm looking forward to going back and seeing my kids and my girlfriend, obviously. Play my cards right. She might have missed me quite a bit. But that's another story. <laughs> so yeah, we're uh, heading to Portsmouth now. And um, when we get there, um, hopefully, if I remember, I'm gonna vlog recording in because it's quite a tight site. Right, just coming off the M27 now to Portsmouth. And um, it's literally just around the corner. We've got to make a couple of turns and then that's it. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. I actually need to be in this lane. I am indicating again. So, 
that car, there was a car trying to overtake me. He doesn't even need his lane, he's just trying to overtake me. I need to get over into these lanes over here. Absolute cockwomble. Yes, you are, mate. That silver car there. There's a woman driving as well. I'm not um, sexist, but um, it was definitely a woman driver. So yeah, we're just around the corner. We're going to Selco. And um, hopefully they tipped me quite quickly. Yesterday, um, I was there for a little bit before they even tipped me. And then I was there for probably an hour and a half, maybe a couple of hours. And that's not what I want today. I want to be gone within an hour. So I'm hoping I can turn up have a look over the fence, make sure there's no one in there, and then sort of say, look, I'm here, let me in. But I doubt that's going to be the case. I doubt it very much. So I've got this Harris transport truck next to me. It's probably going to um, cut me up. We'll see. These are... Uh, He's so keen to go first, then I'll let him go first. Right, so we're going left down here. Got a cyclist there, is, he, is she going to stop? She better do. Right, so this is the Salco company that I was talking about. So we're just going to park up here, have a gander in. Uh, yeah, there's someone in there. Oh, they've got loads of bags coming off as well. I think I was parked next to him last night. Yeah, it was. Right, so I think we're going to be here a while. Good morning everybody, today is Thursday and um, we're on our way to Newbury from Swindon. So um, yeah, um, it's been a, been a bit of an interesting couple of days. Um, I'll start from the beginning, so yesterday, which was Wednesday, um, was my last day out tramping. Um, I had one more run to do from Southampton, had to go to Newbury. And um, I got to Newbury at uh, half past four and they refused to tip me because they closed at five o'clock and they wouldn't get it done by five. So they refused to tip me uh, and basically sent me home. So, oh, well, they basically said I had to sleep out for the night, is what they said. I said, I ain't, I'm going home. So I phoned the boss up just to confirm that I was allowed to go home. And yeah, he said go home in the end. But everyone's a bit annoyed because it was supposed to be a special delivery and they're supposed to have desperate, desperately needed it, but they obviously didn't need it that badly. Um, so yes, I uh, got back to the yard yesterday, about six-ish. Uh, done my daily uh, checks when I finish. I always walk around the truck when I park up just to see if everything's all right. It's better doing it that night than doing it first thing in the morning just in case there is anything wrong. And it was. One of my tires on the trailer was looking quite flat. So I uh, phoned the boss up, he arranged for someone to come out and fix it last night at seven o'clock. Um, so I come in this morning, done my daily checks again, and the tire looked in worse condition than what it was when I left it. So I phoned my boss back up at quarter to five in the morning, quarter to six in the morning, something like that. I said either it's been done and it's gone down again or it ain't been done at all. So he said, all right, all right, let me find out. And basically we, uh, we, we think it hasn't been done at all. So we had to wait for a company to come out to fix a tire. Bear in mind, I got into the yard at half past five. And I didn't leave until about half past eight. So, um, yeah, great start. And we're going back to Newbury. We're on our way back to the place we went to yesterday where they refused the delivery. So we're only around the corner, so we'll be there soon. Make sure that car is not getting hit. Uh, so yeah, and then we'll crack on. So I, st I, I stayed at home last night, slept in my own bed. 
did not want to get up this morning, but um, never mind. At least now I've got proper duvet and pillows. I got my girlfriend to go and buy me some over the last couple of days. I was using just one um, cushion and a sleeping bag. That's what I was using. So now I've actually got two pillows and an actual duvet. Good times. So hopefully tonight will be quite comfortable. Uh, <laughs> I've also found out this morning, while I was waiting for my tie to be fixed, I, uh, I lifted the bed up to have a look underneath the bed just to have a bit of a nose round because I've, I've never looked under the bed. And I realized that my cooler, because I haven't got a fridge, I realized that it is actually a fridge and it wasn't turned on. So I've now got a fridge. <laughs> so that's, uh, that was cool. Let him squeeze through. Um, that's where I filled it with fuel yesterday. So yes, um, we're literally around the corner from where we need to go. Might as well uh, continue talking to you. You guys said that you like the driving part. Someone commented saying that you second the fact that you prefer a lot of driving or the visual driving of what I do before I get to a site. And I had something silly like 30, 40 likes. So that's what I'm gonna do on, on a drive. You'll see where I'm going. I'm going to build base in, um, in Newark, not Newark, um, Newbury. So yeah, hopefully I can get let straight in. They did say yesterday that the best time to turn up is between nine and 10. I said, no chance, I will be there between six and seven. You tip me when you, when you can. So um, it turns out I am actually gonna be there between nine and 10. I'm gonna be there at half nine. So yeah, hopefully they'll be ready for me. Well, not ready for me, but like not busy because they said that's the best time to turn up. Supposed to be in Southampton this morning for six o'clock. Originally, you see that traffic like that? That's been twatted. Don't know if you can see that. You see that traffic light on the left? That's been completely twatted. Yeah, so I supposed to be in Southampton for six o'clock this morning, originally. That got changed because I couldn't tip this, so I was supposed to be here for seven. That got changed because my tire needed to be changed. And now I'm getting here for half nine. Never mind, it is what it is, isn't it? At least I know I'm staying out tonight. If I wasn't staying out tonight, then it would be a late finish. But because I know I'm staying out tonight, um, it doesn't matter, I park up when I can. I'm hoping to try and get two runners done out of Southampton supposed to do three and I'm hoping I can do two but it might be a case of the second one I might have to park outside wherever I'm delivering because I might not get there before four o'clock I don't think I'll be in Southampton until 12. You going left? What about the car behind? Yep left. Over that hill there is Newby Racecourse. I've done a bit of tarmacking over there when I was on the eight-wheeler. Striker. Don't budge over. Right. Um, I also, yesterday, I delivered to Travis Perkins down here as well. So, I've come down here three times now in the last two days. Hopefully they're going to be ready for me. And if they're not ready for me, hopefully we've not got to wait long before we get tipped. Indicate left, just to let them know I'm going straight on. Where are you going? You're indicating left as well. All good, let's go. Now, is it this left? Yeah, it's this left. And there's a lorry reversing out. Hopefully he's going to go straight down into the car park. Someone's twatted that car in front as well. You might not be able to see it. Oh, for fuck's sake. There's a car park right in my way.
Are you going to park up or are you going to be in my way? Just park up. Get out of the way, mate. I need to go straight on. Yeah. This is the guy I saw yesterday. Right, so at least we're here. See you in a bit. Right, we uh, just finished dipping. Now we've got to reverse out. So, this might go alright. This might not go alright. We're going to find out either way. I, I do have a banksman, so that's good. So, apologies if I'm quiet for this next bit, but uh, I've got to concentrate and all. I've got to sort my seat out as well, it's not straight. It's better. Du, du, du. The trailer like just wanders off sometimes, but I'm finding that anyway. Sat and I was warning me there's a speed camera on my route, that's the last thing I'm thinking of right now. Mind the mirror there. I'm very close to those cars on the left hand side. Very close. I'm trying to angle away, but I can't turn left too much. Oh, as the cab then hits it. So it's coming away ever so slowly. There we go, we've got a bit of room now. It looks like I might be reversing onto the road. Bit of wheel spinach. There's a car in the way. Might have to mount the curb here. Try not to. Sort of lock it. Follow it round. Out of date. 
Cheers, mate. Ooh. That is the hardest reverse I've had to do so far. And I've done it on camera as well. This is my, I'm in my fourth week now of driving. So I've literally only been driving class once for a month. And I'm having to do reverses like that. Loved it. I love a challenge. Really? You're just going to fucking cross? Don't get killed, mate. Fuck me. Sorry. Sorry for swearing. Right, so we're on our way now to sunny Southampton. Going to be there for about 20 past 11, half past 11, something like that. Traffic dependent. So, uh, we'll have to wait and see what the traffic's like. You don't go. You stay there. Um, and where we're going for Southampton, I don't know. I've not got a clue. Um, but I do know that they're not too happy with the fact that I'm quite late. I was supposed to be there at 6 o'clock this morning. Bear that in mind. <laughs> it's going to be half past 11 till I'm there. So, um, oh well, never mind. Never mind. Right, so we got loaded in Southampton and we've made our way down to Poole. E350, I need this lane. Uh, lots and lots of water all around me, lots of sea. So we're at the seaside. Actually, it would be pretty cool if I was here um, when they were closing. If I, it would be cool to be here for like after five o'clock if that makes sense, because then I wouldn't be able to tip tonight and I'd be able to spend the night here and stroll the place. Oh shit, I'm in the wrong lane again. These lanes, who's gonna let me in them? I don't know, I think I'm in the wrong lane now. I'm not entirely sure. Right, A350 we want. That is saying I'm in completely the wrong lane. Ha! Ha 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 ha. That sign over there said A350 right hand side lane, and now it's saying it's the far left hand side lane. Uh, it's too late now, I can't change, I've got too many cars behind me. So I need to just try and work my way around this. The well, sat nav has taken me. Around there, I think I'm in the right lane, you know. I don't know. As long as I don't cut anyone up, it's fine, isn't it? If I've made a wrong turn, I made a wrong turn. But I'm only a mile and a half away. But the sat nav is saying it's going to take 15 minutes to get there. There's like a shed load of traffic. I'm slightly worried that when I get there, there's going to be traffic outside of where I need to be. And I need to stop on the road before I go in, to make sure it's safe to go in. So I'm gonna be pissing the traffic off quite a bit, I think. I am gonna just hover these two lanes a sec. Because any one of these lanes I need. If in doubt, use up more room than you need. I'm gonna follow signs for A35. Now I'm going to go down here. This is where the sat nav has taken me. Yeah, yeah, this is the way to go. Don't know why it was sending me the other way. But there's a bridge down here which is supposedly closed. Yeah, Pule Bridge closed. So I need to be in the right hand side lane to go right. Avoiding low bridge. Apparently there's a low bridge around here as well. Bit of a nightmare this place is. Pule. Yeah, it's actually quite annoying because I'm gonna. I've got to do a, 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 quite a big circle now to get round to where I need to go to. Where I need to be is literally on the opposite side of the bridge, which is closed. But instead, I've got to sort of turn right, go all the way round, and back on myself. And there's a shed load of traffic. 
I got TomTom Tom traffic and it's saying that there is nine minutes worth of traffic ahead, which is not ideal. Not what you want. Just realise that your battery's running quite low. I haven't charged you up at all this week. So if I get my charger ready when I uh, when I get there, assuming you last until I get there, um, I'll charge you up. Right, we're going straight on here, over there, but I can't get around the corner, so I need to take a wide turn. We've got to go over this bridge. Literally where we need to be is over there on the left. Lots of boats, lots of water. Ooh. Ooh, nice yachts over there. Don't expect you can see them, but trust me, there's some nice yachts over there. Oh, I see where I need to be. Literally over there, just gotta do like a big circle. Just, uh, it's just traffic. <laughs> Go away traffic, let me deliver. Do you know I mean though, like if I, um, if I was here too late after they shut and I, and I found somewhere to park up, it'd be a nice little walk, wouldn't it? Fish and chips. Might even go on a boat, you never know. Now I've got to watch out for cyclists by the looks of it. They could just come whizzing past me. Rigola Road, this is called. Um, I can see the traffic is kind of flowing. I can kind of see it going all the way around up to there, and then I need to turn left. And I'm hoping, because that bridge is closed over here, no one's going left. That's what I'm hoping. It, on the sat-nav, it looks like this is like a its own little island. Kind of. It's not that, it's not really an island, but never mind. Ignore that. Um, so yeah, just trying to get in now. Like I said, when I get there, ideally I just want to just drive straight in, but I don't know if that's allowed. Like there might be nowhere to turn around, in which case I might need to reverse in off the main road. So I need to pull up outside, put the hazards on, and go find someone and ask them how they want me in. But if there is a lot of traffic down there, and we're in traffic like this, and I put my hazards on, it's going to hold people up even more. That has to be done, I can't just drive in without knowing. I've, you can have a look at maps on Google Maps and have a look on satellite, and you can kind of get an idea whether, you, whether or not you can actually get into the yard or not. There's a motorbike overtaking me here. But um, I couldn't actually see, couldn't make out if there was enough room. Might be enough room to turn around, but it's difficult to tell. Look at all those electricity lines, look. You wouldn't go in there drunk, would you? Touch the wrong thing. Look out! Look at all those little yellow signs that say saying warning, electricity, danger. Why would you go in there? Of course it's dangerous. Might be a lot of static around here as well. Have I got radio right now? Yeah, a lot of static on the radio. Anyway, at least traffic's moving. Just uh, giving you, the viewers, a, a little bit more of a choice of things to look at. As you said, you wanted to, you want to see some more stuff before I get on site, which is fair enough. Uh, it's not this left; it's the next left. Five pound wash and go. <coughs> Do you reckon they'd charge more than five pound to wash this? I wouldn't even fit under their canopy. <laughs> well, we got through that a lot quicker than what I thought we was gonna do. A lot quicker. Da -da -da. Go left at these lights. And then 
it will be down on the road on the left hand side. People playing football over there. Come on! <sighs> Turn green. Turn green. Turn green. Come on, lights. Turn green. Just keep an eye out for cyclists going down either side. Right, someone's just crossed the road in their mobility scooter. Green lights. Means these cars are going to now move, so I can now go on the keep clear part. Uh, all these cars are going left where I want to go. The road I'm going to be blocking up. Stay green, stay green, stay green, stay green, stay green. Quite a tight turn that is. That lorry that's in front of me, you better not be going where I'm going. That building there with the blue writing on, that's where we're going. That's where we're stopping. Green lights. Um, we're actually going to stop in the bus stop to cause less havoc. At least some people can get past. Right, I need to go find out if I just drive in or not. Right back. Right, so we just parked up again. Uh, we are, again, parked under the bridge. So three times in a row now we parked here. Um, well, twice we parked here, and once we parked, once to the left. So that's all right. Um, just got to fill in my mileage that I've done today and the hours I've worked. So that's my card out. Uh, we have finished on three, seven, seven, six, seven, two. And we're gonna start on that as well. Three, seven, seven, six, seven, two. Started at 5.45 this morning. It is now 8.05 oh, now. So that's five past six. So that's, and I've got to do some maths now. Five past six in the morning to five past six in the evening is 12, plus 20 minutes. So it's 12 hours and 20 minutes. 12 hours and 20 minutes. And also it's a night out. Do, do, do. Night out. So yeah, Monday, don't know if you can see that. Monday I've done 13 and a half hours. Tuesday, 13 hours, 45 minutes. What yesterday is done 12 hours and today 12 hours and 20 minutes. Who knows what tomorrow will bring. I've got to be over the road at six o'clock in the morning. So I'm probably going to start about half five. And um, yeah, done for today. I'm going to chill out now. Might edit a video or two on my laptop. Definitely going to go get something to eat. I'm starving. Um, don't know what I'm going to get yet, but definitely going to get something. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this vlog. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Give it a like, give it a comment, give it a subscribe, whatever you want to do. And until next time, drive safe. Bye-bye.